everyone, so welcome to the B2B Japanese music video throwback mini series. One of you guys recommended that I do this back when I did the regular B2B throwback series. Anyway, so you guys, it, okay, so if you're new here, you guys may be wondering, why don't you just film your reaction to their Japanese music videos and upload it on YouTube like everyone else? Now, here's the thing. I feel like I'm a robot repeating myself constantly on this, but it's because I understand that copyright is very different for Japanese music videos and same thing goes for just regular music shows and even award show performances and things like that. And I just don't wanna risk it. I've heard stories of people getting blocked, taken down and things like that, like videos and stuff. And I just do not want to risk it. And copyright is a very tricky thing on YouTube. However, Lucky for you, I am uploading my reactions to the music videos, well, the B2B Japanese music videos, up on my Patreon and on my blog, completely free. So if you guys wanna see my reactions to them, I'll link it on the description box below. So in this video, I'm just gonna be discussing the different music videos and the songs and things like that. All right, so I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I'm not very familiar with B2B's Japanese songs specifically. I, actually, some of the songs I do know, but other songs I don't. Same for their music videos. So this is all a brand new experience for me, and that's actually quite exciting. I love, love, love seeing new B2B content, and plus they're having a comeback very soon. So that's even, that's super exciting. Okay, anyway, so with all that being said, let's go with the first music video. All right, so the first music video is Dear Bride, and I absolutely love the heartbreaking storyline. So I think how, first of all, how it was filmed, beautiful, I love the aesthetics of it. It's very soft and light, and it does sound like a Christmas song. I have to check when the song was actually released. Should have done my research before. But anyway, in this music video, it's about basically Chung Sub falls in love with this photographer, and they work in like the same studio along with the other members of B2B, but Chung Sub is the one that is head over heels in love with her, and then the other guys find out, well, technically Sung Jae finds out that Chung Sub is in love with this girl, and then all the guys kind of like band together, and they kind of want to set him up and stuff. And then when Chung Sub builds up the courage to I guess, confess his love to the girl and stuff. She gives him an invitation and it is the invitation to her wedding. Plot twist. So then of course, Chung Sub and the rest of the guys, they end up going to the wedding and stuff. And then the final scene is when everyone like takes a picture with the bride and groom and Chung Sub is next to the bride and he's just staring at her and it is very heartbreaking. I really like how beautiful, like how soft their vocals are in this song and I love again when it comes to their vocals and raps so this song does remind me of like a holiday type of song it kind of has that holiday vibes to it at least the sound I absolutely love how they were styled I think the gray um, color scheme and stuff and the other outfits I think it was absolutely wonderful again aesthetically it was just so beautiful this was a heartbreaking music video but again i love with b2b their music videos are like mini movies they tell a story and in this case i like how chung sub was the main character and then the other guys the rest of the members are like the side characters and i really like that with b2b each member they sometimes are the protagonist of the music video they're like mini movies i absolutely love it all right so the next music video is brand new days and i absolutely loved this music video. I love how bright it was. I know that I say this all the time, but I'm gonna keep saying it because it's true. I absolutely love their verses, how the vocals blend with the rap verses and vice versa. It's mm, so good. In the chorus, after Unquan finishes his verse, then it's Peniel, and then after it's Ilhun, and then it goes back to Chung Sub. And it is just, I love the flow. They didn't need an elaborate set or location or anything. It was literally just the guys in a set and it was just various sets um, with like props and stuff but just their personalities, their character, their facial expressions, and how they interacted with each other made this music video incredible. And I like how, again, B2B goes, they could give you something like a movie, right? Just like their previous music video. And then they could give you something simple, bright, light, fun. And this music video kind of reminded me of Min Hyuk's solo music video for his song Melody, which is super sweet, highly recommend it, and very cute. It's a very cute music video. Anyway, so this music video kind of reminded me of that. And again, just the interactions between the members, it is 100% worth watching. I absolutely loved it. I couldn't stop smiling. It was so good. All right, so the next music video is Christmas Time. And this music video is so darn sweet and cute and 
funny. So in this music video, the main character is Min Hyuk, and in the music video, you see him waiting on the, like, in the bus stop or something for this girl. Like, every day he just waits for her, and then the other guys obviously know that he likes her, so the other guys are constantly, like, seeing what Min Hyuk is doing and whatnot, and then when Min Hyuk is with the girl, the guys kind of just spy on him, and it is so funny. And then in the end, Min Hyuk gives the girl a ring, and it's just, like, a perfect Christmas type of music video. It's so sweet. And I love the moments that the members are just like singing and dancing to the song. I mean, they're just being themselves and it is, it's just so funny. I really enjoyed it. And I also love how B2B, they have Christmas songs. So they basically have a song for every season, every time of the year. And I love it. And overall, I just like how simple and sweet this music video was. And again, just seeing B2B together is it's just a treat in it. All right, so the next music video is L-U-V, Love. So when I saw this music video, I didn't know what to expect. So I didn't know if it was gonna be a bright, fun, happy song or happy music video and, or it was gonna be sad. And this music video is definitely on the more serious side. And I didn't really realize that until later on while I was watching the music video and stuff. But of course the song starts off very soft and I didn't realize that there was a lot of meanings and metaphors behind so many things until I got to the end of the music video that in hindsight, I was able to see everything sort of build up. And if you actually go on the music video, someone posted a comment, a pretty lengthy comment, their interpretation of the music video, which I think it's pretty spot on. It is very different from their previous music videos, at least Japanese music videos that I have seen thus far. And there's a lot of metaphors and I really like how they used colors throughout this music video. So during the happy moments, we see things in color. And then when things get really sad and dark, things go to black and white and the metaphors of the like black balloons and things like that. And it is just, it is a very well done music video. It is very sad and heartbreaking music video. But again, it just shows how B2B can do multiple concepts, multiple types of songs, and they could really share a lot of different messages and meanings and stuff throughout their music and I think that is very powerful and yeah overall um LUV love that music video was very dark and sad I wasn't expecting that considering the previous music videos were very bright and fun and cute and sweet and stuff so I didn't expect that all right so that basically wraps up for this video so stay tuned for part two where I will continue the discussion on B2B's Japanese music videos once again if you guys would like to see my reactions to any of these music videos you guys could head on over to my patreon or to my website you guys could watch my reactions there so if you guys are new here I did film a B2B throwback series on their Korean music videos I will link the playlist so you guys could check it out where I talk about all of their music videos from their debut to their most recent music video, which by the way, they are having a comeback very soon. So um, stay tuned for that. I'm super excited for their comeback. So once again, if you're new here, you guys could also feel free to subscribe. I post videos on a weekly basis and on my blog, I do talk more about K-pop comebacks and stuff. And yeah, so thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.